Hey, my name is Casey Ferris, and today I want to show you how I color grade GoPro footage inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, the other day I posted a GoPro color correction tutorial focusing on using LUTs in Premiere. This is going to build on that concept just a little bit, but because we're using Resolve, we can get a little bit more advanced. So if you've got a bunch of GoPro footage, you want to take your images to the next level, you know, make them look a little bit nicer, this is the tutorial for you. So I'm gonna jump right in. I have a bunch of GoPro footage here. This is all shot with the ProTune setting, which gives you a pretty flat image, about as nice as you can get from a GoPro for color grading. And so we're just gonna make all these images a little bit better, make them punchy, uh, boost the saturation, the contrast, that type of thing. So we're gonna start with this kayak shot. Now, anytime you're gonna do color correction in DaVinci Resolve or anything else, you can either do it completely yourself or you can use a LUT. Now, in some ways, I really like doing everything myself because I know what each adjustment being made is doing. I have you know full control over everything. But at the same time, I like using LUTs because it's just plain faster. And a lot of the time, the image will look very similar. And using the techniques that we're gonna use today, I could pretty much control how my image looks even if I use a LUT and I save a bunch of time. So that's awesome. But first of all, here's how I would do it without a LUT. The first thing I'm gonna do is set my black levels. Now, there's barely anything in this image that actually should be black. The only thing maybe is this ore right here. And even then, it's kind of in the sunlight. I probably wouldn't put this all the way black, but I want it to be close. So I'm gonna find it on my parade here, which is right here. So this is the left ore, this is the right ore, and I'm gonna bring those down to where they're just touching zero. Maybe something like that. That's pretty good. They're not quite at zero, but I don't want them all the way at zero because even though it's black, it's right in the sunlight. So next I'm gonna set my white levels, which actually are pretty good just because of the way Protune shoots. The things I would say are white are these little white caps here, and uh, they're pretty white. And so that's pretty good. I'm probably gonna leave that alone for the most part. Now I'm gonna play with saturation. So I'm gonna boost my saturation until it starts to look nice to me. And I'm gonna check on my vector scope and make sure I'm not blowing things out too crazy. What I might do is just worry about everything else in the image and then take this orange down just a little bit because orange is pretty hard to control in a lot of images. It tends to kind of get crazy before anything else. So that looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna leave that there for now. That's an all right image. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a version, and this is just a copy of my grade, so I can switch in between ideas if I want to. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna reset it. Here's my initial node, and I'm gonna add a serial node. And so I have this node, which is nothing right now, um, but I'm gonna call it before LUT. And then this is gonna be our LUT. And I'm gonna make another serial node and I'm gonna call this after LUT. Just so we can all see real clearly what's happening here. So on my LUT node, I'm gonna right click, go to 3D LUT and select GC ProTune to 709. This is a free LUT available at groundcontrolcolor.com. It makes your GoPro footage look really nice without much work. So I'm gonna click that Right off the bat, this isn't perfect. It looks a little bit dark. And the reason for that is because there's no magic LUT that works for every single shot. But what this will do is get you most of the way to a great image. So I'm gonna go to my before my LUT node, and any changes that I make here are gonna be fed into this LUT, which is great because this LUT has a certain tonal curve in it that remaps the colors. So I can keep the way my colors look here but just do some tweaks before this LUT to make it look a little nicer. So the first thing I see is I want to boost my midtones just a little bit. So I'm gonna boost those, bring out the color in the trees, maybe bring up the shadows a little bit and compensate for the midtones a little bit. Bring up my highlights a little more and just tweak it just a little bit until I like this image. And that's pretty good. So here's the image with the LUT and here's the grade we just did. And so you can see it's a little bit different, and what I find is I actually like the images made with the LUT just a little bit better because they have a stylistic curve in there. And I could get this look myself, but you know it's gonna be a lot more playing around. I have to play around with curves and, and all sorts of things to get that look. And you know what? It's, it's easy, it works, it's nice. Why not 
why not just do it? So that's pretty good. And now after my LUT, I can do any other adjustments that I need to do. Say I still don't like this orange, I can go to my qualifier and I can select just that orange and bring down the saturation a little bit and just make that a little bit nicer. There's the difference between a glowing raft and a normal looking raft. And because I'm doing this after the LUT, when I change colors and saturation and stuff, it's gonna act like I expect. If I did this before the LUT, because of the color remapping and the tonal remapping and things that the LUT does, it's gonna act a little bit strange. Little adjustments are gonna make a huge difference and all this confusing stuff. It's just easier to do it after the LUT because I have the main look that I want. I'm just fixing little problems. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna move on to my next shot and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add my LUT, GC Hang Time Pro Tune to 709 and look at my shot. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit bright here and so I'm gonna go into my first node and maybe bring down my midtones, bring down my highlights just a little. And this also looks kind of pinkish, orangish to me. So I'm just gonna take my highlights and move them over just a little bit. Again, because I'm doing this before the LUT, just a little tiny adjustment goes a long way. So there I have this shot that looks pretty good to me. Might boost my shadows just a little bit. And there I have my basic look. Now I'm gonna move on to the next shot. Same thing. Put my LUT in the second node. So it's pretty good. Maybe bring my midtones down a little bit, boost my highlights, add some saturation. That orange is pretty bright, but it's not, it's not too bright. It looks okay. So I'm gonna leave that. And here we have an underwater shot. If you've shot with a GoPro underwater before, you know that unless you have a special filter that goes over your lens, it looks bright green all the time. So let's see what happens when I put that same LUT on this underwater footage. It looks like it's bright green, which if you're going for that look, that's fine. But I know most of the time you want it to look nice and blue and have good saturation and you know, nice color detail and that type of thing. And so here's what we can do. I'm gonna right click and go to my 3D LUTs again. Now these are all part of the ground control hang time pack, which is a pack of LUTs that are designed specifically for GoPro. But the LUT that we're gonna use on this shot is one of the Aqua LUTs. This LUT is specifically designed for underwater GoPro footage shot on ProTune without that underwater filter because not everyone has an underwater filter. So what I'm gonna do is pick my Aqua 2 Log LUT. The reason I'm using Log is because I haven't done any adjustments to this. It's still the flat ProTune footage. So I'm gonna grab this and this is gonna make my underwater footage look a little bit nicer. I'm gonna add a version just so we can see the difference here. So this is our regular ProTune to 709 LUT and that's our underwater LUT. And so that's a big difference in the type of image you get all with barely any work, just kind of throwing the LUT on there. Now again, just like any LUT, you can tweak this, maybe give it some more saturation and make it look even better because every shot's different. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next shot. This is a shot of some motorcycles here. And because this is a pretty regular, you know, sunny day, good exposure shot, I can just throw my Hang Time Pro Tune to 709 and it looks pretty darn good. I think I'm gonna move on. Here we have another kayak shot and this time we're going under this bridge. So what I'm gonna do is just copy my grade from my first shot by clicking with the middle button and I'm gonna see what it looks like. Looks okay. I'm gonna take my orange qualifier off of here and see what the difference is here before the let. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna boost my midtones just a little bit more just to see those details under that bridge. That's pretty nice. So now I have a primary adjustment on all of my footage. It all looks, you know, normal, pretty good looking. And I can stop there if I want, but I think what I might do, since we're having fun here, I'm gonna select all of my footage and I'm gonna add it to a new group. And I'm gonna call this style. And I'm gonna go up to my node tree here under clip and I'm gonna select group post clip. Now this is gonna to apply to all of my footage in this group and it's gonna apply after my adjustments in the clips. And so anything I do here is gonna take an image after my clip adjustment. So what I can do is click on my first node here in my group post clip node tree, 
right click and I'll go to 3D LUT and I can go down to my hang time LUTs again, but this time I'm gonna to go to 709. And the reason for that is because I've already made my initial adjustments here. Black things are black, white things are white, good mid-tones, good saturation, pretty good looking images, and so I just want to add some style to this. So I'll go to my 709 hang time LUTs and I'm gonna add my first LUT here, which is a two strip LUT. And so this emulates some of the style from the old Technicolor two strip processes and uh, gives it a really neat look. And again, because I've already done my adjustments, I don't really need to do much here just because this LUT doesn't change the brightness values and the contrast values that much. It just kind of remaps the color. And so you might have to do a little bit of tweaks, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. So maybe I'll look at another one here. This is the X process LUT, which is kind of based on the cross processing look. It's popular in Photoshop and that type of thing. And it looks pretty nice because it's the 709 version of the LUT. So using a group is a great way to put style over your whole movie or just a selection of clips or just clips from one camera or however you wanna make that group. So I'm gonna go back to my two strip because I really like that look. And after I decide on this look, I can go back to my clips and I can add more adjustments to kind of punch this look a little more and maybe bring out that tealish cyan that I know this LUT is really good at punching. And because I'm doing this before the LUT, I can tint this sky a little bit blue and it should really punch it once it hits the LUT. So I'm gonna put my gradient up on the sky and just play around and see what I can do here to make things just a little bit bluer. So here we have it with the gradient and without. So I can punch that a little bit and let my LUT take care of the rest. Now maybe I wanna add a vignette to this shot just to bring some focus to the motorcycle here. You shouldn't add a vignette on every shot. Don't, don't do that. But sometimes it's a good thing if you know what you're doing and it's for a reason, it can really help a shot out. So it's just a slight vignette just to give a little bit of style. You'll notice I haven't done just like a silly vignette like this, okay? Are there times when that's okay? Sometimes, but you know what? Not all the time, okay? Don't be that guy. So that's pretty nice. Turtle shot I'll probably leave alone. This shot I might leave alone. What I might do is put a gradient on this shot. Just maybe darken this. Just to add a little depth to this shot maybe. But yeah, you can go through and tweak your shots if you want to, and you can do that under the LUT. That's a super great way to work. So that's how you color correct and do some stylistic grading to your GoPro footage. Hope you liked this tutorial. Hope it was helpful for you. If you're interested in using that GoPro LUT that you can get for free, you can download it at groundcontrolcolor.com. If you wanna kinda of take it up a notch and do some stylistic grading and that type of thing with some LUTs designed for GoPro, check out the Hang Time LUT Pack, also available from Ground Control. It's an instant download, 20 bucks, and gets a pretty good deal to make your GoPro grading a little bit easier. So guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. And of course, make sure you subscribe and share this with any of your friends that love shooting with GoPro because they'll probably love this too. Once again, my name is Casey Ferris. I'll see you later.